Okay, hello and welcome to the Northampton Town Crew Road on FIFA 21. Now with the next gen update on the PlayStation 5, it's finally here, the full update is out and this will be my first career mode in it. So, please don't forget to like and subscribe and please don't forget to follow on Twitch, the link is always in the description. So, I have of course started in Northampton Town career mode and I did the first three episodes. Now when this version came out, I was always a bit worried that I was going to have to up date and lose the save which has been the case uh, I thought I could just play up to the point and then carry on but all the fixtures have changed so I can't so what I'm gonna do is I've restarted this one I'm gonna try to replicate as many transfers as I possibly can and I'll be trying out the new camera angle that they show and I'll be seeing how that goes for me might change it back but for the start we'll go with it I'm really really sorry I've had to start over here but I really wasn't left with much of a choice because of the way things were done um, I will show you the calendar here to show that the fixtures were completely different to what I opened with in my first one. Yes, there's nothing I could really do about it. So we'll go through pre-season fairly quickly and the squad and the transfers fairly quickly as well. So we can get straight on. We've got three games for this first episode and you'll be seeing some next gen stuff from FIFA 21. So let's jump straight in with that. Quick look at the squad, Jonathan Mitchell's the online goalkeeper, he's not really going to ever play unless I absolutely have to play him. Steve Arnold it will be the backup goalkeeper for this season at the very least, I mean, because if we don't play Mitchell he may get recalled, which is something they can do now. Uh, Nicky Adams uh, will be converted to a left midfielder, he will also be our captain and will be playing a lot at the very least in the first season, he's getting on a bit. We can see here that we'll convert him. To a left midfielder, it'll take a few days for that to go through, but he is our captain. Joseph Mills will be my primary left back, but I will be getting in another left back as a secondary because Joe Martin, for me, is surplus to requirements and will be on the transfer list. Kian Bolger or Bolger will be a backup defender, as will Fraser Horsfall for now. So I'm thinking that Alan Sheehan will start alongside my new signing centre back, which I'll be getting later in the episode. Luka Rakic, uh, or Rakic, I believe it's pronounced Rakic, is on loan, so probably will not get many games. We've then got Josh Flanagan and Max Deitch, who are both young defenders who will be given chances to grow. You can see I've already done the development plans for all of the squad. Harriman will be our primary right back, but I'll be bringing in another right back as well. Misalu's a good option, especially in DM. Ricky Holmes will be uh, playing in Cam, centre attacking midfielder for me. Ryan Watson's a good midfield option. Quite like Ryan Watson. Salby just isn't good enough at 25 58 overall. He's going to be out the door. Scott Pollock and Sean McWilliams are both good young prospects in midfield. We're trying to grow them as much as possible and rotate them in from time to time. Chris Lyons is a veteran midfielder. Probably won't be used that often, but we'll get a game here and there. Sam Hoskins will be my first choice right winger for or right midfielder for this start of this season at the very least. Marshall's a decent option alongside Hoskins can play either side. is a good option, he's got a bit of room to grow as well so we'll see what happens with him. Danny Rose will be my starting striker primarily at the moment. I quite like Danny Rose, good finisher for me. Uh, Harry Smith there, I've not changed my mind, he is also still going to be out the door. I don't really have a use for him personally. Then you have Benny Ashley Seal who will be second choice for now, but will probably grow into first choice before too long. You've got the two youngsters, Caleb Chukwamika and Ethan Johnston. Especially Caleb, I've got a lot of faith in and a lot of room to grow for both of these lads, but we'll see what happens, how they get on, and go from there. Joe Nuttall's on loan, and again, it's just I've got no need for him, so I'll wait for him to be recalled and get that money back in the budget. Now, Onto the first signing, which we skim through very quickly. Re-signing Luke Southwood like we did in the first career mode. 790k. And he, I think he was only about 1,500. He'll take the number 31 shirt. We win 3-1 in our first preseason game against FC Norgeland. Rose, Hoskins, and I think Rose as well, getting the three goals for the Cobblers. Now against Mojdalen, Mongdalen, we lose 2-1. Danny Rose getting our goal. Joe Martin has gone to Gangwon FC, 210k, 140, back in the budget. And Smith, Raquel for 800k, but we only got 575 of it back in the transfer budget. I expected 
a bit more than that to be honest but they are now at the door we win 3-1 against Odense BK it is Rose with a hat trick in this one really happy for Rose to score that we win 2-0 it's Hoskins and Rose in that one too against Chindia now finally against Ter Terguchu Ricky Holmes scores both goals despite Hoskins getting sent off we win the entire pre-season tournament which is fantastic stuff now we will sign George Honeyman of course we signed him in the previous career mode so I wanted to get him in again they didn't want Salaby tried to fob him off but 1.4 million is pretty good for him and I think he only took about 5,000 I think it was in the end wages Connor Masterson now the defender that I also wanted to bring back in very cheap as well 700k and getting him in for about I think it was 3,000 on the 4,000 on the wage so Masterson will take the number 18 shirt and George Honeyman will get the number 19 shirt all set up and ready to go for the start of the season those lads now first we've got to sign two backup full backs the left back Jean Bersajor was not available so I had to sign George Beretes or Beretes who you know similar 34 aging left back and similar with the right back here as Attila Fiola 30 year old right back both fairly cheap options and decent rotation options too Youth Academy is Donnell Lehe, who looks doesn't look very good. William Rushja does look pretty good for Slovenia here. He could be one to grow. Aiden Santos as well has very good potential, but a very low overall currently. But then you look at George Neal, who is first team ready. I like that they're giving you one of these really promising youngsters. If he gets too good, I could sell him on and really expand the team. But if not, then I'll keep him in the team and he'll get his opportunities because he looks very good we'll promote him pretty much straight away here and then stick everyone on a development plan in the youth academy including neil i'll go do that off screen but for lehi i mean you may as well grow him and then promote him and sell him even if i don't want him we'll definitely just get everyone on a development plan and then keep him moving on and we'll see when it comes to it and george neil will take the number 37 shirt here we see the team bus arriving. Here's Danny Rose. Incredible pre-season form shown by that man. It's Southwood, Mills, Sheehan, Masterson, Harriman, Hoskins, Honeyman, Missaloo, Adams, Holmes and Rose to play Gillingham in our first game. Here is Akinde. Trying to find his way through the Cobblers defence. Popped up by Graham but intercepted by Nicky Adams and there is a counter on for Northampton Town. Holmes back to Honeyman. Missile. Swept for Adams. Gets it over to Mills. Here's Rose. Returns the ball for Mills. Plays it in. Hoskins. Heavy touch saved. And on the rebound. Sam Hoskins gets up a very, very first goal. Brilliant reactions from Sam Hoskins there. You can see that initially the touch is poor, goes into the keeper gets very very lucky and on the swivel puts it in the back of the net it is 1-0 to the cobblers in the first match against Gillingham McDonald good ball for Graham Hoskins and Harriman both caught very far up the pitch Graham dribbles a bit away from where he needs to be going Graham now into McDonald who can turn McDonald across here's a kinder and Southwood gets down and holds it Launches it out towards Missalub, it's intercepted. And here's Akinde again. Holds for the second attempt. Gets it to Harriman this time though and we can move away. Rose. Quick ball over to Adams who wasn't offside. Flag has stayed down for Nicky Adams. Ball across, Holmes. Chests it down. Ricky Holmes puts it in the back of the Gillingham there. And just like that, it is 2-0 to the Cobblers. Really, really nice play. Adams with the good cross in. Holmes steaming in there. Chest it down away from both defenders. And can launch it into the back of the net before anyone can react. Harriman. Down the line for Sam Hoskins. He's got the pace. Inside, here's Ricky Holmes. Holmes! Oh, crashes against the post. Robertson into Akinde. Over to Jacob Mellis tries to find Coil, but it's cut out they will retain the loose ball though Jackson here's Mellis 
onto Coyle, puts it in. There's the header from Meles, that's held by Southwood. See that Neil and McWilliams are on for Holmes and Missaloo. Bonham with the goal kick for Gillingham. Well won by Sheehan. Honeyman can't find Neil, it's intercepted. Here's Mellis, who loses the ball back to George Honeyman. McWilliams, Rose. Chance for George Neal to run, he's got a tight angle. He's gone for goal! George Neal! That is how you introduce yourself to a football team. What a debut from the teenager. Off the bench he comes, 2 0 up. What a difficult angle. He just says, bang, have it, top corner. George Neal, take a bow. Here is Neal, showing some fancy footwork. Harriman, Honeyman, back to Neal. And there is your full time whistle. A phenomenal first performance. Six fields applauds. George Neal off the bench with an absolute blinder to seal the tie. Holmes and Hoskins getting the other goals. The captain very, very happy today, applauding the Sixfields faithful for turning out in their droves for this first game of the season. League One is well underway and I think we'll top the table with that performance as well on the opening day. Quick look at the player ratings. See, there's a great one in there for Sam Hoskins, Sheehan as well, and George Honeyman. Great way to start the season. On to the next one. Now we play Wigan. It's Southwood, Mills, Sheehan, Masterson, Harriman, Hoskins, Honeyman, Missaloo, Adams, Holmes, and Rose. Couldn't change that side really, could I? Mills into Missaloo, who can turn? Find Holmes. Ricky sees the gap through the middle. Goes for the gap through the middle. Goes for goal. It's off the bar. So unlucky. Massey, James, Gardner, over the top, little flick on there from Evans, now here's Massey, ball all the way over for Crankshaw, and down for Naismith, who volleys it into the near post, it's a really good Wigan goal, they tore us apart there, a big smile on that man's face, and rightfully so, as Naismith opens the scoring for Wigan, a much tougher test than Gillingham. We are 1 0 down. Southward with the goal kick here to Masterson. Lovely little ball over the top for Harriman. Hoskins is on his bike and he's found him. No one's keeping up with Hoskins. He's going to have to go alone. One on one with the keeper. Hits it straight at him and the header is cleared off the line. Gardner into Garner. Massey with a lot of space again. Beat Sheehan. Massey into Garner. Still Garner. Finishes it. Another fairly poor display of defending from the Cobblers. We are 2 0 down now. Yeah, it's pretty poor, isn't it? It's a good finish, though, from Garner. James into Evans. Good challenge from Honeyman, and he can put Rose in. Has the overlap here from Nicky Adams. What can Adams do? Returns the ball to Danny Rose. It's a good block. Half-time serve. Watson is on for Missily. Southwood with the goal kick. He's giving it straight to Gardner. Evans over the top for Gardner. Another first-time ball into Garner. who finishes it well on the volley. A disastrous piece of defending that time from the Cobblers. And it is now 3-0 to Wigan Athletic. Brilliant play from them. Can't fault it can fault all the defence though. Ashley Seal is on for Holmes and we switch to a 4-4-2 to try and get something back from this one. Honeyman into Hoskins. Oh, leaves it sort of for Harriman there who wasn't alert to it. And, oh, they're in again here with Garner. Sheehan's out with him. Great challenge from Sheehan. Important too. Hoskins. Honeyman. Straight into Benny Ashley Seal. Danny Rose now. Ben Ashley Seal's made a good run. Rose has made a good run too. Good ball from Benny Ashley Seal. And Danny Rose puts it into the back of the Wigan net. We have a goal back. Could it be possible? Let's find out. Really good play from the two strikers. Straight involved is Ashley Seal. Returning the ball. Good touch from Rose. And a nice left-footed finish past the keeper. 
Garner. Well won by Harriman. Masterson quickly into Benny Ashley Seal. Over to Hoskins now. Sam Hoskins is in here. Hoskins hits it hard and low across the keeper. And it is 3-2. It really is on now. Good spirit from the Cobblers fighting back. And 3-0 down, it's 3-2. We've got plenty of time to score another one. Good finish from Sam Hoskins. Masterson into Harriman. Hoskins. Benny Ashley Seal. Ball through for Honeyman. Honeyman's in here. George Honeyman hits the side netting. Here's Merry. Massey. Wigan trying to force the issue with James. Will turn back though. Wants to retain possession. Massey. Still looking for the right opening here at Wigan. Merry. Gardner turns. Finds Evans who can turn and finishes it. Just when I thought we were doing something really, really well in defence. Keeping them away from putting the ball in. They find that ball for Evans. Who can turn far too easily in our penalty area. And finish past Southwood. Neil is on for Mills and Adams has gone to left back in my last change. Thrown something on here. Here's Evans though. He's going to get another chance and Southwood makes the save. Throw in for Wigan. Solomon Otterbaugh over for Massey. He's caused so much trouble for us. Here's Garner on the turn. Finishes it well again. It's just not been our day in defence. Garner has a hat-trick. The fans are going so mad, the camera's shaking. Garner has his hat-trick for Wigan. It's 5-2. And we've been absolutely schooled by a team much, much better than us on the day. What else can you say about it? Southwood with the goal kick into Masterson. Now Harriman. Maybe looking for another consolation goal here with Hoskins. Into Ashley Seal. Good run from Ashley Seal. Big powerful run into Honeyman. Honeyman goes for goal. It's parried into Danny Rose. Who can make it 5-3. But it is all over still, unfortunately. Nice to see Rose get another goal. Nice to see that we keep going. It was really good play from Honeyman as well. Just puts this onto his left foot, makes the keeper stretch for it, forcing the parry into Danny Rose, who has the tap in. Garner. Maybe we can want one more here. Evans. Keane. Solomon Ottavor. Naismith. Referee, please just blow it up. Solomon Ottavor. Into Garner, who's going to turn. He's going to get it in, but we're just going to do enough here. We get the ball away. We lose 5-3. We were battered on the day by a much better side, but the fight back there is promising. Garner takes his match ball. Causes all sorts of problems did Joe Garner. Let's take a quick look at the player ratings for that one. Good ratings for Danny Rose, of course, and Sam Hoskins in there. Move on to the next one. Now the lads are arriving at Watford for our first Carabao Cup game of the season. Holmes will definitely be looking to cause an upset against the championship side. It's Southwood, Brites, Sheehan, Horsfall, Fiola, Hoskins, McWilliams, Missilu, Adams, Holmes and Ashley Seal for this one. It's a big, tough game. Tom Cleverley into Troy Deeney. Watford kept a lot of their good players when they got relegated from the Premier League. Here's Ngakia through for Delhi. He's going to go all the way here, but Southwood will just do enough. Spencer Adams ran straight into Ricky Holmes. He could be away. Slides in. Benny Ashley Seal. It's a good stop from Foster. There may be another chance here. Benny Ashley Seal again. Locked and it's going to get rid. Here's Fiola. Goes inside. Here's Sean McWilliams. Holmes can turn. Holmes just going to go all the way. He's found the gap through the middle. Ricky Holmes drags it all the way across. And it's just wide. Ben Foster will take the goal kick then. Ricky Holmes maybe should have worked. Foster won the corner. And Gakia against Adams. He wins the header as the Watford right back. Chalabar into Dini. Over for Messina. Away by Sheehan. But it's back for Jao Pedro. Who can score. 
So unlucky is Alan Sheehan there. He does really well to win that initial header. But Dini is there to poke the ball back through. And Pedro puts it past Southwood. 1-0 to Watford. Sheehan with this free kick. Here is Bretez. Misalu. Straight into Delhi. Runs straight into trouble. And Pedro is in again here. Pops it up. Troy Dini finishes for Watford. And on the brink of half time, it's 2-0 to the Hornets. Their captain scores. Provided the first, scoring the second. Watford are looking very good here. Dini. Chalaba over for Messina. Takes the ball down well. Into Pedro. And here's Dini on the turn. Southwood makes a good stop there. Dini with this Watford free kick. Chalaba. All runs into trouble. Now here is a Benny Ashley Seal who can try to counter. Here's Hoskins. Hoskins needs support. Has Benny Ashley Seal. Inside for Sean McWilliams. who has got a gap through the middle here. Sean McWilliams goes for goal and it's in off the post. Big, big moment perhaps in this one. Sean McWilliams. The young midfielder. Puts one in off the post. Does really well. And there is a goal back for the Cobblers. Marshall, Neil and Pollock are on for Holmes, Adams and McWilliams. Messina. Dean. Messina. Into Nathaniel Chalabar. There's a strike here from Kapu. It takes a deflection. It goes just wide. Southwood goes short for Horsfall. Who just avoids Troy Deeney there. Pollock. On in place of Sean McWilliams can do a similar job to him. He's found Benny Ashley Seal. Ashley Seal shoots across Ben Foster. And we are level in the Carabao Cup from 2 0 down. Brilliant stuff. From 2 0 down. Benny Ashley Seal now has scored and makes it 2 2. Cleverly into Dini. We've got a halt. Watford, who've not done it very well. Here's Chalabar. Good save from Southwood. Ngakia, Kaput. Back to Ngakia. Puts the ball across. And Chalabar hits it against the post. Maybe Southwood got something on it too. But can we counter on this one? Here is Missili over to Mark Marshall. Watford having to backtrack. Marshall in. Here's Ashley Seal. Benny Ashley Seal. B A S has scored. Brilliant. Brilliant counter from Northampton Town. Mark Marshall. Inch perfect pass. Phenomenal touch. Phenomenal finish. It's 3 2. Hoskins. Benny Ashley Seal, oh, it's a heavy touch and it's taken off his toes. Chalaba over to Perica. Kapu through. Here's Messina. Good save. It's come back to him. It's 3 3. And that was a very short lived moment, wasn't it? A very short lived moment where I thought we may do this. But we are drawing. It's very disappointing to concede, but. There is still time for us in this one. Adam Messina scores. Kick off as we look to force our way back into this one. Got to keep our heads up. Messina travelling forward. Really good play from Neil. Tracking back the youngster there. Fiola. Ashley Seal. Round the corner for Neil. Go on. He's got a bit of pace about him here as George Neil. He's doing well, he's got it. Neil save, comes back to him. Neil from the angle scores. George Neil. The youngster scores. Look at the reaction from the bench, from the team, from the manager. The 88th minute, George Neil with an impossible 
finish there. He's lost it. He wins it. He's shot and he's saved and it's the angle. And oh God, George Neal. How difficult that first time finishes from that angle. Ben Foster can't stop it for a second time. And look what it means to the youngster. Cobblers lead 4-3. Foster launches this one forward. Well won by Fiola. Heading forward to Capu. Get rid of it, Britez. Marshall get rid of it. Full time whistle goes. And we will leave Watford with a 4-3 victory and through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. George Neal, what a way to debut. The lad hasn't even started a game yet. Two sub appearances, two phenomenal moments for him. Great rating there for McWilliams, for Benny Ashley Seal and George Neal, of course. A perfect 10 for Benny Ashley Seal as well. And that is it then, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow on Twitch. Link is always in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. It's going to be a fun journey. I'll see you for the next episode.